group of climate change organizations has emissions of greenhouse gases. Climate change is now happening. Indonesia says it's 10 million tons of The Philippines stops a list of countries most susceptible to hazards caused by climate change. Ito ang dahilan ng pagkakaroon ng mga bagyong gaya ng Super Typhoon Yolanda at Bagyong Umboy. This is all wrong. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction. And all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? Climate change, driven by the rapid increase in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, has become a defining global issue of our time. Its impacts are widespread, affecting ecosystems, weather patterns, and human societies across the world. Among the myriad consequences, climate change is increasingly recognized as a catalyst for conflict and migration. As environmental conditions deteriorate, competition over resources intensifies and large-scale movements of people become more common, leading to new geopolitical tensions. Climate change is the most fundamental and existential threat to our species. The consequences are unthinkable and worse, it has the potential to make our planet unlivable. The intersection of climate change and geopolitical conflict is itself a pressing concern that demands urgent attention. As temperatures rise and natural disasters become more frequent and severe, the resulting strain on resources such as water, arable land and minerals can ignite or exacerbate existing conflicts. These conflicts are not limited to the regions most immediately affected. They ripple across borders, influencing global stability. Climate-induced migration adds another layer of complexity as millions are forced to flee their homes in search of safer, more hospitable environments. The confluence of these factors creates a volatile mix that challenges traditional notions of security and necessitates innovative, cooperative solutions on an unprecedented scale. Welcome to the Global Insight. Ignoring climate change is deadly and dangerous and irresponsible. The consequences of climate change are starkly evident in the escalating conflicts over essential resources. As global temperatures rise, the availability of water, fertile land and critical minerals is increasingly threatened. These resources, which are vital for human survival and economic stability, are becoming scarcer, fueling intense competition and conflict among nations and communities. The struggle for access to dwindling supplies of water, arable land and mineral wealth is not only a matter of survival, but also a significant driver of geopolitical instability. In this video, we'll delve into how climate change exacerbates these resource conflicts, examining specific cases and expert insights to illustrate the profound and often violent impact on societies worldwide. Water scarcity is one of the most immediate and severe consequences of climate change. As rainfall patterns become erratic and glaciers retreat, rivers that millions depend on for drinking water, agriculture and industry are drying up. For instance, the Nile River, which flows through 11 countries in Africa, has seen reduced flows exacerbating tensions between Egypt, Ethiopia and Sudan. The construction of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam has further strained relations, with downstream nations fearing significant impacts on their water supply. A new World Bank report highlights that water scarcity, exacerbated by climate change, could hinder economic growth, spur migration and spark conflict. The combined effects of growing populations, rising incomes and expanding cities will lead to an exponential increase in demand for water while supply becomes more erratic and uncertain. 
Without urgent action, regions currently abundant in water, such as Central Africa and East Asia, will face significant shortages. Conversely, areas already experiencing water scarcity, such as the Middle East and the Sahel in Africa, will see conditions worsen drastically. By 2050, these regions could see their growth rates decline by as much as 6% of GDP due to water-related impacts on agriculture, health and incomes. The number of people at risk from floods is projected to rise from 1.2 billion to 1.6 billion by 2050. Furthermore, the population living in areas of severe water scarcity is expected to increase from 1.9 billion, or 27% of the global population, in the early to mid-2010s to 2.7 to 3.2 billion by 2050. The IPCC estimates that by 2030, 700 million people could be displaced due to water scarcity. Tensions between India and Pakistan over the Indus River system have intensified due to climate change. Melting glaciers in the Himalayas are altering water flows, leading to disputes over water allocation and management. The Nile River Basin, shared by 11 countries, is facing increased water stress due to climate change and disputes between Egypt, Sudan and Ethiopia over the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam have escalated, with concerns over equitable water distribution. Rising temperatures and changing precipitation patterns are also affecting agricultural land, leading to reduced crop yields and food insecurity. In regions like the Sahel in Africa, where arable land is already scarce, this has intensified conflicts between farming communities and nomadic herders. As fertile land becomes more valuable, violent clashes over land rights are becoming more frequent. Climate change is severely impacting agricultural productivity through processes such as desertification, soil degradation and extreme weather events. The IPCC projects that by 2050 up to 80 million more people may be at risk of hunger due to these changes. Desertification and soil degradation driven by climate change are significantly reducing the amount of arable land available for agriculture, leading to heightened competition and conflict over these vital resources. In the Sahel region of Africa, desertification is shrinking grazing lands, leading to escalating conflicts between pastoralists and farmers over scarce resources. The United Nations estimates that climate change could displace 60 million people in the region by 2050. As the desert expands, these conflicts could become more frequent and intense, exacerbating food insecurity and threatening livelihoods. Globally, over a fifth of the world's river basins have recently experienced rapid changes in their surface water areas, indicative of either flooding and the growth of reservoirs or drying up of lakes, wetlands and seasonal water bodies. This variability adds to the challenges faced by agricultural sectors worldwide, further stressing the need for adaptive strategies to combat land and water scarcity. The quest for minerals critical to new technologies and renewable energy solutions is another area where climate change impacts are felt. Melting Arctic ice has opened up new routes and access to untapped mineral resources, leading to a geopolitical scramble among countries like Russia, the United States and Canada. This rush for resources has the potential to spark new conflicts as nations vie for control over these valuable assets. The melting of Arctic ice is opening up new areas for the exploration and extraction of oil, gas and minerals, leading to increased territorial disputes. Countries like Russia, the United States, Canada, Norway and Denmark are asserting their claims in the Arctic, driven by the potential for resource extraction and new shipping routes. As a result, militarization of the region is on the rise, with nations seeking to protect their interests and secure access to these valuable resources.
In the Arctic, the territorial claims of Russia, the USA, Canada, Norway and Denmark are intensifying due to the opportunities for resource extraction and new shipping routes. As the ice recedes, previously inaccessible reserves of oil, gas and minerals become exploitable, prompting these countries to assert their dominance over the region. This competition has led to an increase in military presence as each nation seeks to safeguard its interests. Currently, the Arctic sea ice cover, both annual and late summer, is at its lowest level since at least 1850. Projections indicate that the Arctic could experience practically ice-free conditions during its summer minimum at least once before 2050. This rapid transformation underscores the urgent need for international cooperation to manage the geopolitical tensions and environmental challenges posed by a changing Arctic. Within countries, people are being forced to move from rural areas to cities due to failing crops, extreme weather and rising sea levels. In Bangladesh, for example, coastal erosion and frequent cyclones have displaced thousands, pushing them into overcrowded urban areas like Dhaka, which struggles to accommodate the influx. Internationally, climate change is contributing to a rise in cross-border migration. The droughts in Central America exacerbated by climate change have pushed many to migrate northwards to the United States. These movements often lead to political and social tensions in both the sending and receiving countries. One poignant case is the Syrian conflict, where a prolonged drought from 2006 to 2011 displaced millions within the country, exacerbating pre-existing political tensions contributing to the outbreak of civil war. This, in turn, led to a massive refugee crisis affecting neighbouring countries and Europe, highlighting the complex interplay between climate change and geopolitical stability. As nations anticipate and react to climate-induced pressures, there has been an increase in military activities in strategic areas. In the Arctic, for example, nations are not only racing for resources, but also establishing military bases to secure their interests. This militarization raises the risk of confrontations and escalates tensions. Climate change is reshaping international relations as countries navigate resource scarcity and humanitarian crises. The Mekong River, shared by multiple Southeast Asian countries, is seeing reduced water flow due to upstream dam construction by China. This has strained relations among the countries reliant on the river for their livelihoods and food security. Efforts to address the impacts of climate change on geopolitics have led to several international agreements. The Paris Agreement, although primarily focused on reducing carbon emissions, also emphasizes the need for adaptation and resilience in vulnerable regions. Initiatives like the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, also aim to mitigate conflict by addressing underlying issues of poverty, inequality and resource management. Regionally, the African Union's Great Green Wall Initiative aims to combat desertification and land degradation, which are major drivers of conflict and migration. By restoring degraded landscapes, the initiative seeks to create sustainable environments that can support communities and reduce the pressure to migrate. Non-governmental organizations or NGOs and community-led initiatives play a crucial role in mitigating climate-induced conflicts. Organizations like the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, or IFRC, provide vital support to displaced populations, while local communities are implementing innovative agricultural practices to adapt to changing conditions.
Looking ahead, the frequency and intensity of climate-induced conflicts and migrations are expected to increase. Regions like the Middle East and Sub-Saharan Africa, already vulnerable to environmental stress, will likely see heightened tensions. However, proactive measures and international cooperation can help mitigate these risks. Innovative solutions such as climate resilient infrastructure, sustainable resource management and technological advancements in renewable energy offer hope. Enhanced global cooperation and investment in adaptation strategies can also pave the way for a more resilient future. Climate change is a powerful driver of geopolitical tensions and migration, reshaping the global landscape in profound ways. The competition over dwindling resources like water, land and minerals is igniting conflicts, while climate-induced migration strains social and political structures both within and across borders. Addressing these challenges requires a multi-pronged approach that includes international cooperation, regional initiatives and community-led solutions. The negative outlook presents a sobering reality. If current trends continue, the world may face unprecedented levels of conflict and displacement. Water shortages, loss of arable land and intensified resource disputes could destabilize regions, undermine economies and trigger humanitarian crises. The potential for widespread suffering and geopolitical instability is significant, as nations struggle to adapt to rapidly changing environmental conditions. However, the positive outlook offers some hope. Innovative solutions such as climate resilient infrastructure, sustainable resource management and advancements in renewable energy provide pathways to mitigate these risks. Enhanced global cooperation and investment in adaptation strategies can help build more resilient communities. By prioritizing sustainable development and proactive measures, it's possible to transform these challenges into opportunities for growth and collaboration. The future, while fraught with risks, also holds the promise of a more sustainable and peaceful world if we commit to working together for the common good. That's it from our latest video from the team at The Global Insight. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Do you have any thoughts on the resource crisis? Have you seen the problem in your area where you live? What's being done about it? What do you think needs to be done? Let us know in the comment section below because we always want to hear what you guys think. But until next time at The Global Insight, stay tuned.